At the age of 90, with 61 years of medical practice, the Raleigh icon is hanging up his stethoscope. Dr. William Hedrick retires this month after a long career, in his words, of, quote, making people feel better and making them live longer lives. What a legacy. WRL's Gerald Owen shows us how he's now helping his patients to adjust to the change. Okay. Well, you've been a patient of mine for probably what? Over 50 years. <laughs> Both Joy Nielsen and her 93-year-old mother have been loyal patients of Dr. William Hedrick. There are many okay. stories like that one. There was a patient that came to me the other day and said, you know, Doc, said you did my high school physical and he's now 70. That relationship with more than 2,500 patients ends this month as the good doctor officially retires. It's hard to go to another doctor after I've been here for 50 years with Dr. Hedrick. Patients, many of them are disappointed, as I'm sure they are, because I've looked after them for a long time. He always wanted to be a doctor. After graduating from the School of Medicine in Wake Forest, Hedrick spent two years in the Army, then practiced medicine in Atlanta. Came back to Raleigh. And I was the first ER physician at Wake Med. He spent 10 years as chief medical examiner for Wake County, then pursued a solo family practice. So I wanted to be my own boss, take care of patients. At the same time, he and his wife, Mary, enjoyed raising their children on their farm. He never cut back on his hours serving patients. I just have incredible respect for him. Somebody that puts in the time and energy to do that. Dr. Danny Gill with Advanced Care now serves many of Hedrick's patients. He admires Hedrick's devotion to them. And he got it right. Was he actually put the patient first? I'm 90 years old now, and I guess, you know, that's time to... I, I wrote in the, the patient's letter, I said all the good things must come to an end, and that's sort of what this is. Our Gerald Owens reporting there. If your doctor is 90 and still looks that good, listen to him. Holy cow. Uh, Dr. Hendricks says, and if you're not impressed enough already, his big claim to fame isn't all the stuff you just heard there. It's beating Ar Arnold Palmer by one hole in golf when they were both <laughs> students at Wake Forest around 1948. Wow. What, a, what a life. You are so right about that. I need to get his keys to a long life.